I've been working on a Max for Live Looper for the past six months or so. I've been using it on stage and in the studio to generate material, and I thought that I would share it because I've been having a blast with it, and I think some of the functionality is really interesting. So the idea behind this was I always wanted a looper that was always recording, and I didn't have to tell it to record. So that's how this looping engine here functions. You can define a length, let's just stick with one bar. <clears throat> let's start a drum beat for reference, and this will just always be recording whatever I'm playing into it. So if you're just grooving along, you get something you like, you just hit loop, and it'll play it back. dub into this as you would any uh, traditional looper. So select a folder and save the file. Um, so along with this s looping engine, I, I have a stuttering engine built in. And this will grab a section of audio defined by the divisions and the offset. The divisions is how many slices this buffer is divided into. And when you're in sync mode, it has the standard kind of... Uh, you know, ratios, uh, and then you can turn that off and get really in between beats and stuff and get really strange rhythmically. Um, but let's just keep it at 16 for now. And if I hit grab and the offset is at zero, it'll play back this first slice. You can see the green playhead indicating that it, it's gonna be just grabbing that. change the behavior of what happens when you hit the grab button with the dynamic and the random buttons. So in random, as you would expect, whenever you hit grab, it'll just randomly play back a uh, part of the buffer. That's pretty cool. Um, and in dynamic mode, it'll grab the last slice after you know, the previous slice of audio that you played. So you can just tell it to grab a single note or something. also automate how that works with this auto grab so after every second slice it'll dynamically grab a new section of audio you can tell it to randomly select a piece of audio get some just random grooves going. You can overdub into this too to maybe give it some more texture. And uh, this <coughs> stutters have an envelope. You can turn that on and then you can hear how this affects the sound. So let's open this up, and it has uh, position, uh, direction, it has amplitude, and speed, and you can, let's just zero this. 
this out. So this will just be playing back the first slice. You can randomize all of these, of course, as with any good step sequencer. And you can just have this sequencer running like behind live audio, which is kind of fun. So. That is a quick overview of Hindsight. Um, there is some hardware integration with Push Push 2 and Soft Step. Um, I was controlling the grabbing um, and the, the looping and overdubbing with my feet. And there's also hands-free control of looping and overdubbing with a sustain pedal plugged into either Push 1 or Push 2. So if you're interested, uh, get in touch with me somehow. Um, I'm, I'm pretty available, Facebook, uh, YouTube, SoundCloud, anything. I'll, I'll get right to you. And uh, if you want to check out the beta version, I'll hook you up. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy.